I'll gonna answer to two questions. Why this cover always leaking? Not only this, also this one. Okay. The one that has the actuators for the variable. Why this is leaking? I have seen at 40, 50,000 kilometers start leaking, not crazy, coming wet if you like. And if the MAN 57 has anything magnesium on it, forget the internals because there is on the, in the oil pump, the oil pump, it's part of the oil pump, it is magnesium. Outside, that's not been treated. There is magnesium and there is a pure magnesium and it's this cover magnesium. I have an old piece here that I don't care and I don't want it because it was badly corroded, okay? And I was showing to the guys before what's happening when you pour mag uh, vinegar on magnesium. It's gonna start eating the magnesium. You can see here the reaction. Okay, so this is pure magnesium, to be clear with that. This, this is a vinegar, it was, it's a white vinegar, it's not uh, toxic or something. I mean, I can put it on my, on my skin, it's not a big deal. If I put it on the floor, you can see it's not, uh, uh, it is an acid. But it's not hydrochloric acid or something, it's just a vinegar. Vinegar, it has a reaction with the magnesium, all right? It's eating the magnesium. You can see it start cracking it. You see the foam. Don't do that. I'm gonna tell you what's my point and I'm gonna answer to two questions. Uh, I don't care about this. No, let's rinse it first. Yeah, okay, I don't care, but let's rinse it. Okay, finish with this one, forget about that. Okay, back inside the engine room. I'm talking about this cover. Okay, this cover is very light. Don't be confused because of the actuators that it has here. It's the same thing, actually, if you see here, you see that it has MG. It's not, let us say, like the, the intake manifold of the MO56. It's even worse, <laughs> if you want my opinion. <laughs> Anyhow, so what's happening? When it started life, this piece, it was not like this. Some people, they're gonna tell you, you know what, do not touch this surface, because this surface is critical. I, am, I agree that this surface is critical, but this surface, it won't gonna seal. It will gonna seal for 20, 30,000 kilometers, and then you're gonna start crying a little bit, if you like. Then, the fact that it's untreated, it's unpainted outside, if you're in a country, with more moisture in the atmosphere, more humidity or rain or whatever, water, or here washing your engine, what's happening? Sometimes it's trapping some water somewhere, somewhere here, you can see here, let us say it goes inside, and then it starts leaking from this seal, it's leaking from this side, you can see the signs. This is in good condition. It was leaking, by the way, <laughs> it was still leaking. Okay, so, okay, what, what can you do for that, right? Obviously, the inner side, you don't have to bother with this one because it has an engine oil. In this side here, what I'm doing, this doesn't mean that you have to do it. This is what I'm doing, okay? I am touching this surface successfully without any problem. And I'm doing this surface like this. And I'm not removing the machining lines. You can still be able, it's visible, the machining lines, okay? You see here, let us say, one imperfection on magnesium, but you can still see the machining lines all over around. Okay, this is why to stick the sealant better, to have much better contact, when it comes the time to close it, so to don't start leaking. I haven't seen leaking even up to 100,000 kilometers, 100, 150, I don't even remember. I haven't seen leaking cover that I did like this. Now from this side, where it comes the actuators, you see some imperfections like this. This is not by me, this is not by sanding it. This is the corrosion that's happening on the magnesium, okay? So how you're gonna solve this one? Very simple, you can see also here, let's start eating it, okay? How you can solve this? Very simple, one very light film of sealant, very light film of sealant, and then you put the actuator with the o-ring that has, 
to protect also this um, this area. It's a good thing from outside to paint it, if you want my opinion. Spray paint it, let us say, with high temperature color to don to stop the corrosion. So, if you see, it's extremely light. Okay. And again, yes, you're not gonna get uh, 300 grade sandpaper. You're gonna start removing from the surface. You're gonna get, let's say, 1,500 with a little bit soap and water. And you're gonna go nicely, slowly, all over around. And the machining lines that I'm saying, you can still see. You cannot see with stupid light. I don't know if you can understand what I'm saying, but I can see this, the machine lines, I'm talking about this one, what you see here. It's just only, let us say, like a powder that you remove from the surface. This one, it's much more uh, sensitive than the intake manifold of the MO56, because this is pure magnesium. Okay? So, yes, there is a magnesium part on the MO57, inside of the engine the oil pump and outside half in half out okay yes I am removing the powder the, let us say this dark piece that has on it to seal better successfully up to now I didn't found any problem I didn't have any problem with actuators or the variable everything is working excellent you put the pins here you torque it down properly everybody happy um, if you go let us say to purchase a new plate like this it's gonna come like this color this reaction with the oxygen, I believe, that's happening almost immediately or in short time of period. Even, let us say, if you go at the factory, before they close it, before they put it, I put a bet that it's not going to be signed like this. It's going to be like this. And if I leave it like that here, and it has a little bit humidity in the atmosphere, it's going to come again like this. That's why I'm monitoring all the time the humidity here inside. This is 29%. It's behind the curtain that I'm storaging the parts, crankshafts, magnesium parts and other stuff and 37 it's here because I have the air condition 30 degrees behind the curtain 24.5 because of the measurements I want to be not less than 20 not more than 25 classic I have mentioned that before so if you do it properly you don't have any problem and you're not gonna regret it now if you start sanding it and removing material then yes obviously it's not gonna be the ideal okay that's what I have to say. I have no clue how it's called this part. That's the housing for the cam, cam adjuster actuators. I'm gonna put it like that on title. Probably. Yes, I'm gonna put it like that on hookers, right? That's it. Thank you.